Okay, in figure 6.2, uh, we can see that if the length is lambda by 2, the radiation pattern is like this. Or the current distribution is like this. If it is multiple of lambda by 2, the current distribution will be like this. And so on. The radiation pattern of the different resident dipole are shown in figure that is if it has a length of lambda by 2, if it's a length length of lambda, if it's 3 lambda by 2, if it's 3 lambda. So the thing which should be noted here is this that uh, it 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 exists it, it consists of both the uh, radiation pattern that is forward and backward and it also has side loops the other features are the half wave dipole and distributed inductive capacitor and like, like resonant circuit the voltage and current are not in phase that is the main point the voltage distribution on half wave dipole is shown in figure 6.4 voltage distribution is there in 6.4 <clears throat> the length of a resonant antenna is found from the formula that is L equals to V naught over F multiplied by capital F. That capital F is the velocity factor, which is 0.95 as compared to Y to the air. And this F is the frequency, and this V naught is the velocity of light or velocity of propagation of light. Resonant antenna are also known as periodic antenna. That is the main feature of this resonant antenna. The second category in this classification is non resonant antenna. It is also known as traveling wave antennas. The feature of these antennas are it does not have the length of lambda by 2 or multiple of lambda by 2. One end is of the antenna is excited and the other end is terminated. It operates not on the specific frequency but over a range of frequencies. It has a wide bandwidth. There are no reflected waves on this antenna. There are no standing waves. It is a traveling wave antenna. It is terminated by characteristic impedance. It produces unidirectional radiation pattern. It produces unidirectional radiation pattern. That means it has a one directional radiation pattern. Examples include V inverted rhombic antenna or a long wire antenna. They are also called directional antennas. Voltage and radiation pattern is given in the figure. That is, this radiation pattern is in the specific direction. They are known as aperiodic antennas. The equation for E is given here, which is at, which is in the six point two. The third classification uh, includes the classification of antenna by their wave types. It has two types that is standing wave and traveling wave. The standing wave is defined as the wave in which the ratio of the instantaneous value of any component of the wave at any point of time at any other point does not vary with time. A standing waves are basically defined as a wave where the, the wave which is traveled and the wave which is reflected have the same value and the transmission stuck. And, as, uh, and on either side and on other side, traveling waves are defined as Wave whose frequency components have exponential variation amplitude and linear variation of phase with distance. 
it means that the traveling waves are the waves which are uh, traveling from the source to the destination with frequency component having exponential variation of amplitude and linear variation of phase resistance. Always remember that if the reflected wave and the incident wave, that means the traveling wave and the uh, wave which is reflected back from the destination gets coincide and if their values are same, the transmission gets struck and the phenomena at the occurrence is called the standing wave and these standing waves are dangerous for the tra transmission. The fourth classification of the antennas are due to their frequency and we know that the frequency has been uh, divided into different bands that is VLF band, LF band, MF band, HF band, VHF band, UHF band, microwave and EHF and these all categories and bands are typical for their applications that means very low frequency is used for telegraphy, low frequency used for marine and navigational aids, medium frequency used for broadcast of radio and navigation, high frequency used for aircraft, radio, shortwave broadcast, very high frequency used for television, radars, FM stations, ultra high frequency used for radar, televisions, short distance communication, microwave used for radar, satellite communication and so on, and extremely high frequency used for experimental purposes. So these are the classifications of uh, antennas with respect to the frequency, with respect to the wave, with respect to the length and with respect to the uh, radiation pattern. The four of the classification have been discussed here. Now moving on to the array types and the first is the dipole array. We know that the dipole array is very important and fundamental in antenna study. It is defined as an array antenna which consists of group of elements can be arranged linearly or non-linearly in a plane. When an antenna element is bidirectional or multidirectional in its radiation Characteristics an array of such elements yields a unidirectional pattern. An array is said to be linear if the elements are arranged along a straight line with equal, space, equal spacing. It has been defined previously in the antenna discussion that an antenna can be linear if they are arranged in a straight line with equal spacing of elements. We have two types of dipole arrays. One is the broadside array and the other is the end fire array. Folded dipole, <coughs> it has been discussed previously about the broadside array and fire array. That broadside array is the array which radiates maximum radiation in the direction of uh, the axis of array that is parallel to the axis of array, and end fire is the antenna which radiates maximum radiation in the direction perpendicular to the axis of the array. It has been discussed previously. The next is the folded dipole. Folded dipole is an antenna composed of two or more parallel and closely spaced dipole antennas connected together at their ends with one of the dipole antenna being center fed. That is the shape of the antenna. It consists of two parallelly closed dipoles it has been folded and is fed from the center the length should be lambda by 2 features are it is a single antenna that consists of two elements that is two one dipole and the other dipole the first is fed directly and the second is inductively coupled at the end that means this first 
the inner one is directly threaded and the second one is coupled with the first by an inductive load its radiation pattern is the same as that of the straight, straight dipole if the current thread is i then the current in each arm is i by 2 when the same power is applied only half of the current flows in the first arm therefore the input impedance is four times that of the straight dipole its resistance or impedance is four times that of the straight dipole that is four times more If the diameter of the arms of folded dipole are different, impedance transformation of 1.5 to 25 is achievable. The spacing between the arm is very small and it is in the order of lambda by 100 or that means it is the multiple of lambda by 100. Another type of antenna that is called Yagyuda antenna which has been discussed uh, In the next session is used as folded dipole or folded dipole is used in this type of antenna it has the advantage of high input impedance it has an high input impedance greater bandwidth a typical addition pattern of folded dipole is shown in figure that is this figure Impedance is standard as Z is equal to 292. The equivalent diagram, equivalent circuit diagram of the folded dipole is given here in 6.17. Because the voltage divided by half, it has 2 pi by 2. Applies. We are not looking at the proof, so we are skipping this. The impedance of the dipole depend upon spacing between dipole and radius of the dipole. Now we are moving on to the next antenna type that is called Yagyuda antenna. This is also very popular and uh, uh, mostly used as an antenna. It is named after two professors, Yagi and Udda. These two professors are basically given the first design of this antenna. It is an array antenna, consists of only one active element and few parasitic elements that is only one active element and f number of parasitic elements that is in support of this active element the active element consists of a folded dipole that has been discussed in the dipole folded dipole section the parasitic element consists of one reflector and a few directors Parasitic elements that are in the uh, support of active element consist of uh, many arrays of which one is a reflector and other are the directors. The length of the reflector is greater than lambda by 2. Reflector is greater than lambda by 2 and is located behind the active element. The length of each director is less than lambda by 2 and they are placed in front of the active element. The spacing between each element is not identical and hence it can be considered as a non-linear array. So it has been defined by the definition that if an antenna should be, if, if an antenna is linear it should have the equal spacing. Here the spacing is not defined that means it is a non-linear array. 
the number of direction in the antenna depends on the gain requirement that means if more number of directors are used to give a specific gain or more gain or it means that if a more if more gain is required we have to increase the number of directors the impedance of the active element is resistive the impedance of element that is basically working as an active element should be resistive the impedance of reflector is inductive and the impedance of directors are capacitive that means it has all of the three components that is capacitive all of the three components used as the uh, impedance that is capacitive inductive and resistive it has all of the ingredients that is the typical structure of the argued antenna this is the reflector that is behind the active element this is the active or driven element these are the directors and that is the direction of maximum radiation features of the argued antenna the argued antenna consists of a driven element a reflector It should have one driven element that is used to drive or active the antenna. At least a reflector or one or more directors. Driven element is usually a folded dipole that has been discussed previously. Director is a straight conductor placed in front of the driven element towards transmitter. Reflector is also a straight conductor placed behind the driven element also been told before directors and reflectors are called parasitic elements direct and reflectors come under the parasitic element category the length of the folded dipole is about lambda by 2 and is it at resonance length of the director is less than lambda by 2 and length of the reflector is greater than lambda by 2 it has been also told before the optical equivalent of yagyu dantina is like this this is the optical observation of yagyu dantina that these are the reflectors that reflect the signal and it has been converged to this lens it is basically a observation or supposition that is represented in the optical equivalency this radiation pattern is almost unidirectional it used as a transmitting antenna and for tv reception at very high frequency back loop can be reduced by bringing the elements closer the effect of parasitic element depend on the distance. The effect of parasitic element depend on the distance. Reflected resonance at low frequency and direct resonance at high frequency. Poly dipole is used to obtain high impedance of proper matching between transmitter and free space. It has been told before that if you want to increase the gain, you have to increase the directors. It is relatively broadband or it is relatively used for broadband communication. For the reflecting directors to increase the gain, but they load the driving element. Highest gain can be obtained in a condition where the reflector is greater than slightly greater than lambda by 2 and spaced at lambda by 4 from the driven element. And when the length of the director is about 10% less than lambda by 2, then optimal spacing about lambda by 3. This point number 17 defines that how we can achieve the highest gain. It defines us that if we slightly 
you see the size of the reflector by lambda by 2 from the lambda by 2 if we slightly increase the length of the reflector from lambda by 2 and it's exactly space is lambda by 4 from the Damien element and the director length should be 10% less in lambda by 2 spacing lambda by 3 spacing then we can achieve the highest gain of this Jaguar dandini we can also produce circular polarization when two Jaguar dials are placed across a right angle on the same boom the director lengths are shorter than the driving elements are characterized by capacitive reactance the current which flows in the director is the leading current the reflector lengths are longer than the driven elements are characterized by inductive reactance Yaguta antenna has exceptionally sensitivity it means Yaguta is exceptionally sensitive it is a good front to back ratio its bandwidth is limited that means it bandwidth is not very much higher as compared to other antennas. Now moving forward to the design parameters. The length of the driven element can be found from the formula that is uh, written in the 6.17 LA is equal to 0.46 lambda. The length of the reflectors can be found from the equation 6.18 that is LR which is equal to 0.475 lambda and the length of the director can be found from the equation that is LD1 which is equal to 0 0.44 lambda LD2 is 0 0.44 lambda LD3 is 0 0.43 lambda LD4 is 0 0.40 lambda so here we have if we have four directors we can use the specific equation to find the length of each director the spacing between the reflector and the driven element is found from the formula that is SL which is equal to 0.25 lambda the spacing between director and driving element can be found from the formula that is SG equal to 0 0.31 lambda and the diameter of the element is found from the equation that is D we equal to 0 0.01 lambda and the whole length of the Yagi array can be found from equation that is 1.5 lambda these upper values are found from the equations which are described are which are described here is the LA which is which are, these are the equations that is that is actually driven these values these constant values and for the equation for LA is 478 divided by frequency length of reflector 492 divided by frequency length of director 461.5 divided by frequency and the spacing is 142 divided by frequency that means if we want to use or to find the Lens, different lengths in feet we can use also these formulas in order to find the different lengths so that is all for the today's video lecture and inshallah we will uh, soon we meet it together the zoom session and discuss the things and uh, I hope that you all are taking care of yourselves in this pandemic situation god bless us and help, helps us all thank you very much allah